So it's currently day 55 of quarantine. I am quarantined alone in my apartment. And it's gotten to the point that I am now going to recite all of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the movie, that I can remember off the top of my head. There's no, there's no TV on in here. The lines aren't being fed to me at all. I'm just... I'm just that bored. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm not going to say the stage directions for all of it. I just want to set the scene for the first one. I'm probably just going to say the dialogue. Private drive, night. Dumbledore walks up, sees a cat sitting on the stoop after he does all the deluminator clicky clickies. I should have known that you would be here, Professor McGonagall. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true, Albus? Ah, yes, I'm afraid. The good and the bad. And the boy, Hagrid is bringing him. Do you really think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Minerva, I would trust Hagrid with my life. Motorcycle flies in. <laughs> Professor Dumbledore, sir. <clears throat> Professor McGonagall. <clears throat> no problems, I trust Hagrid. No, sir. Little tyke fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Little baby Harry. Do you think it's safe leaving him with these people? I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. They really are. The only family he has. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Until he's ready. <laughs> There, there, Hagrid. It's not really goodbye after all. Good luck, Harry Potter. Na, 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 na. Zoom in on the scar. Suddenly, it's ten years later. Up! Get up! Now! <laughs> Wake up, Potter! We're going to the zoo! <laughs> Slams Harry back into his cup. Oh, here he comes, the birthday boy. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> now, why don't you just cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything? Yes, Aunt Petunia, I want everything to be perfect for my Dudley's special day. Hurry up. Where's my coffee boy? Yes, Uncle Vernon. Aren't they wonderful, darling? <laughs> How many are there? 36, counted them myself. 36, but last year, last year I had 37. Yes, well, some of them were quite a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are. Now, listen, listen, this is what we're going to do. When we go out, we're going to buy you two new presents. How's that, Popkin? Now they're at the zoo. My kid, move. 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 He's asleep. He's boring. <sighs> Sorry about him. He doesn't understand what it's like, lying there day after day, watching people press their ugly faces in on you. Can you hear me? It's just, I've never talked to a snake before. Do you, I mean, do you talk to people often? You're from Burma, aren't you? Is it nice there? Do you miss your family? I see. That's me as well. I never knew my parents either. Mum, Mummy, Dad, come here! You won't believe what the snake is doing! Glass vanishes. Ah, ah, ah. Splash. A snake comes out. He goes, thanks. Anytime. Snake. Ah, oh, my God. Mom, mommy, mommy. Oh, my darling. How did you get in there? And then Vernon gives him a death stare. And now they're back at home. And they come in. And Dudley's all shivering under the blanket. And Vernon goes, what happened? I swear, I don't know. Ah. One minute the glass was there. And then it was gone. It was like magic. There's no such thing as magic. Slam. And now they're at the dinner table. Dining table. Whatever. Oh, Marge is ill. It's a funny whelk. Dad, look, Harry's got a letter. G give it back. It's mine. Yours. Who'd be writing to you? It is to Harry. Holy shit. And then I think they're up at the Dursley's car and she's kissing him goodbye and they see the owls and they're like, oh my God. And then uh, Harry's playing in his cupboard with the little knights and then he hears a drill and no more lail through this letterbox and then doors close and then they're sitting at the in the living room 
fine day Sunday. In my opinion, best day of the week. Why is that, Dudley? Because there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. No post on Sundays. Ha! No blasted letters today. No, sir. Not one single bloody letter. Not one. No, sir. Not one blasted miserable... Letter hits him in the face. And then they all come out of the fireplace and everyone's screaming and Harry's jumping up on the coffee table trying to grab a letter. And then, they're my letters. Let go of me. Give me that. Give me that letter. They're mine. Let go. We're going away. Far away. Where they can't find us. Daddy's gone mad, hasn't he? And now they're in the shack on the rock. And Harry's laying on the floor drawing himself a birthday cake. Make a wish, Harry. <sighs> Boom. 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 Who's there? Boom. It's Hagrid. Sorry about that. I demand that you leave at once, sir. You are breaking and entering. Dry up, Dursley, you great prune. Why, well, I haven't seen you since you was a baby, Harry, but you're a bit more along than I would have expected, particularly right in the middle. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not Harry. I, I am. Well, of course you are. Got something for you. Afraid I might have sat on it at some point, but I imagine it'll taste fine just the same. Ah. Ah. Baked it myself, words and all. Actually, before he says that, Harry says, thank you. And then, baked it myself, words and all. <sighs> Sits down, lights a fire in the fireplace. Excuse me, but uh, who are you? Rubius Hagrid, keeper of games. Oh my God. Keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Of course, you know all about Hogwarts. I'm sorry, no. No? Brahmi Ari, didn't you ever wonder where your mom and dad learned it all? Learned what? You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard and a thumb good at I'd wager, once you've been trained up a little. And no, I mean, you've, there must be a mistake. I mean, I can't be a, a, a wizard. I mean, I'm just Harry. Just Harry. Well, just Harry. Did you ever make anything happen? Anything when you were afraid, when you were angry, or, or scared? Anything you couldn't explain when you were angry or, or scared? And then he hands him the letter. That's what happens. And he reads, Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He will not be going, I tell you. We swore when we took him in we'd put a stop to all this rubbish. You knew. You knew all along and you never told me. Of course we knew. Now how could you not be? My perfect sister being who she was. Oh, mother and father were so proud the day she got her letter. We have a witch in the family. Isn't it wonderful? I was the only one to see her for what she was. A freak. And then she met that Potter. And then they had you, and I knew that you would be the same, just as strange, just as abnormal. And then, if you please, she went and got herself blown up. And we got landed with you. Blown up! You told me my parents died in a car crash. A car crash? A car crash killed Lily and James Potter? We have to say something. It's an outrage. It's a scandal. You will not be going. Oh, ho, ho. I suppose a great muggle like yourself is going to stop him, are you? Muggle? Non-magic folk. This boy's had his name down ever since he was born. He'll be under the finest school, under the finest wi of... He'll be under the finest school of witchcraft and wizardry in the world, and he'll be under the finest headmaster that Hogwarts has ever seen. Albus Dumbledore. I will not pay to have some crackpot old fool teach him magic tricks. Never insult Albus Dumbledore in front of me. Pigtail. Ah, they all scream. They run away. They run away. Appreciate it if you didn't tell me. You didn't tell anyone Hogwarts about that. Strictly speaking, I'm not allowed to do magic. Okay. Oh, a bit behind schedule. We must be off. Breaks down the door again. Unless you'd rather stay, of course. Hmm. He leaves. Harry goes with him. I could tell you all of the deleted scenes that happen in between now and then, like that extended scene with them on the train, because I have the extended version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but I'm not going to subject you to that. So now, they're on a London street. All first-year students must be equipped with one standard size, two pewter cauldron, and may bring, if they desire, either an owl, a cat, or a toad. Can we find all this in London? 
you know where to go. They go into the leaky cauldron. Oi, Hagrid. Usual, I presume? No thanks, Tom. I'm on official Hogwarts business. It's just helping young Harry here buy his school supplies. Bless my soul. That's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Nope, that's not from that scene. That's from the scene in Chamber of Secrets where someone says Harry Potter and then grabs him real quick. He, so Tom says, bless my soul, it's Harry Potter. And then the guy says, welcome back, Mr. Potter. Welcome back. Doris Crockford, Mr. Potter, I can't believe I'm meeting you at last. Harry Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. Oh, hello, Professor. Didn't see you there. Harry, this is Professor Quirrell. He's the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh, nice to meet you. A very f fascinating subject. Not that you need it, eh? <laughs> Potter. <laughs> yes, well, must be going now. Lots to buy. <laughs> Goodbye. See, Harry, you're famous. But why am I famous, Hagrid? All those people back there. How is it they know who I am? I'm afraid I'm not exactly the right person to tell you that, Harry. Brick wall opens up. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. Over there is where you get your quills and your ink. And over there are all your bits and bobs for doing your wizardry. Wow, look at it. It's the new Nimbus 2000. It's the fastest model yet. But Harry, how am I to pay for all this? I haven't any money. Well, there's your money, Harry. Gringotts, a wizard bank. Ain't no safer place, not one. Except perhaps Hogwarts. And they go on Gringotts. Uh, Hagrid, what exactly are these things? They're goblins, Harry. Clever as they come, goblins, when they're not the most friendly of beasts. Just keep close. <clears throat> Mr. Harry Potter wishes to make a withdrawal. Yeah. And does Mr. Harry Potter have his key? Oh, wait a minute. I've got it here somewhere. Ah, there's a little devil. Oh, and there's something else as well. Professor Dumbledore gave me this. It's about you-know-what and vault you-know-which. Very well. And they go down the cart. Vault 687. Lamp, please. Key, please. They open it up. There's a shit ton of gold. Now, you didn't think your parents would leave you nothing now, did you? I've just noticed this tuft of hair. That's annoying. They go on the card again. Vault 713. What's in there, Hagrid? Oh, Ho can't tell you that. Hogwarts business. Very secret. Stand back. Appreciate it if you didn't mention this to anyone, Harry. I still need a wand. A wand? Oh, you want Ollivanders? Ain't no place better. Why don't you run along there and wait? I've got something I've got to do, won't be long. Goes into Ollivanders. Hello? Hello? I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. Seems only yesterday that your mother and father were in here buying their first ones. Ah. I will give it a wave. No, apparently not. Ah. Try... This. No, no, definitely not. No matter. I wonder. Takes it. Goes. <laughs> curious. Very curious. Excuse me. But what's curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. And it just so happens that the phoenix whose tail feather resides in your wand, gave another feather, just one other. It is curious that you should be destined for this wand when its brother gave you that scar. And who owned that wand? Oh, we do not speak his name. The wand chooses the wizard. It is not always clear why, he actually says, the wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. It is not always clear why, but I think it is clear that we can expect great things from you, because he who must not be named did great things. Terrible. Oh, yes, but great. And then Hagrid's knocking at the window. Harry, happy birthday. And it's an owl. That's cute. 
And then they're in the leaky cauldron again. Excuse me. And then Harry says, He killed my parents, didn't he? The one who gave me this. You know, Hagrid. I know you do. First of all, Harry, there's something you must understand. Not all wizards are good. Some of them go bad. A few years ago, there was one wizard who went as bad as you can go. And his name was... V his name was... V Maybe if you write it down. No, I can't spell it. All right. Voldemort. Voldemort! Shh. It was dark times, Harry. Dark times. Flashback. Voldemort set out to gather his followers. Brought him over to the dark side. Anyone who said no to him ended up dead. He actually says, if anyone refused him, ended up dead. No one lived once he decided to kill him. Nobody. Not one. Except you. Me. Voldemort tried to kill me. Yes. That ain't no ordinary cut on your forehead, Harry. And what happened to... to you know who? Well, some say he died. Codswallop, in my opinion. Nope. I reckon he's out there still. Too tired to carry on. And then I think they're in Diagon Alley. No, they're in King's Cross Station now. And Hagrid sees someone and he says, What are you looking at? And he goes, Blimey, is that the time? Sorry, Harry, I'm going to have to leave you. Dumbledore will be wanting his, uh... Well, he'll be wanting to see me. Uh, your train leaves in ten minutes. Here's your ticket. Stick to it, Harry. That's very important. Stick to your ticket. Platform nine and three quarters. But Hagrid, that must be a mistake. This is platform nine and three quarters. There's no such thing, is there? Oh shit, he's gone. He goes by himself, goes up to a crossing guard and he says, crossing guard, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I live in America. He goes, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Could you tell me how to get to platform nine and three quarters? Nine and three quarters. Think you're being funny, don't you? Nine and three quarters. Every year, packed with muggles, of course. Come on, platform nine and three quarters this way. All right, Percy, you first. <laughs> Fred, you next. He's not Fred, I am. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. Oh, sorry, George. I'm only joking. I am Fred. Goes, whoosh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could you tell me how to... How to get onto the platform? Yes, it's not to worry, dear. It's Ron's first time at Hogwarts as well. Now, all you've got to do is walk straight at the wall between platforms 9 and 10. Best you did a bit of a run if you're nervous. Good luck. Whoa. Hogwarts Express. Uh, and then he's inside. And Ron comes up and he goes, Excuse me, do you mind? Everywhere else is full. Not at all. I'm Ron, by the way. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry. Harry Potter. So, so it's true. I mean, do you really have the, the, the what? Scar. Oh. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Anything off the trolley, dears? No, thanks. I'm all set. We'll take the lot. Shit ton of gold. And then an overhead shot of the train going chick, 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 as trains do. And then they're back. And they got a lot of candy. Bertie Bot's every flavour beans. They mean every flavour. There's chocolate and peppermint. And there's also spinach, liver and tripe. George swears he got a bogey flavoured one once. These aren't real frogs, are they? It's just a spell. Besides, it's the card you want. Each pack's got a famous witch or wizard. I've got about 500 myself. Oh, it's... <laughs> I just did that because I didn't know what came next. The frog jumps out the window. Oh, it's rotten luck. They've only got one good jump in them to begin with. I've got Dumbledore. I've got about six of him. Hey, he's gone. We can't expect him to hang around all day, can you? This is Scabbers, by the way. Pathetic, isn't he? Just a little bit. Spread, Fred's taught me a spell that's to turn him yellow. Want to see? Yeah. Sunshine. Hermione walks in. Has either of you seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. No. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then. <clears throat> Sunshine, daisies, buttermellow. Turn the stupid fat rat yellow. Nothing happens. 
Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've only tried a few simple ones myself, but they've all worked for me. For example, Oculus Reparo. That's better, isn't it? Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. And then she leaves. And then they pull into the train station. It's nighttime now. Hagrid's there. All right, first years. Come on now, first years. Don't be shy. Come on now. Hello, Harry. Hey, Hagrid. Whoa. First years, this way to the boats. Come on now, follow me. And then they take the boats up to Hogwarts. And then this is the part where I always screw up on. McGonagall says a bunch of stuff and I always say it out of order. Yes, this is not the first time I've done this. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now, as soon as you pass through, soon you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. But before we begin, you must be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. And while you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points, any rule breaking, and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded at the house cup. Trevor! Sorry. The sorting ceremony will begin momentarily. Draco Malfoy appears. So it's true then, what they're saying on the train. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. Harry Potter. This is Crab and Goyle, and I'm Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You seem to come to find that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. We wouldn't want you making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can decide the right and wrong thought for myself, thanks. They're ready for you now. Follow me. Dun, 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 they go into the Great Hall, and then the ceiling is cool. It's not really a ceiling. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. I've read about it in Hogwarts, a history. And they go up to the front. And then she says, Now when I call your name, you will come forth, and I will place the sorting hat on your head, and you will be sorted into your houses. Hermione Granger? Oh, okay, relax. Mental, that one. I'm telling you. Mm, Gryffindor! Woo! She goes and sits down. I think Draco Malfoy is next. He goes and sits the hat. Barely touches his hair and it says Slytherin. And then he goes. And then uh, Ronald Weasley goes and sits. Gr uh, another Weasley. I know just what to do with you. Gryffindor. And he goes and sits. And then Harry looks over at Professor Snape and he goes, ah, ow. Oh, no, wait. That happens before Ron gets sorted because then Ron turns to him and says, Harry, what is it? He goes, nothing. Nothing, I'm fine. Anyway, and then Ron gets sorted. And then, uh, uh, some girl gets sorted into Hufflepuff, I can't remember her name, it's like Hannah Abbott or something. And, uh, then Harry. Harry Potter? And then everyone goes quiet. And then Harry goes up and he sits. He goes, Sorting Hat says, Difficult, very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Not a bad mind, either. There's talent, oh yes. And a thirst to prove yourself. But where to put you? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure you could be great, you know? It's all here in your head. And Slytherin would help you on your way to greatness. No doubt about that. No? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Anything but Slytherin. Better be Gryffindor! woo -hoo! And he goes and sits down. And then Dumbledore stands up and he says... He has some announcements to make, right? I have a few start of term notices that I wish to announce. First of all, our, caretake, our caretaker, Mr. Filch, has asked me all to remind you that the third floor corridor on the right hand side is out of bounds to anyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Actually, all of these announcements happened before the sorting ceremony. Oops, my bad. He also says, uh, the Forbidden Forest is strictly forbidden to all students. And then the caretaker, Mr. Felch, asked me to remind you, the floor card on the right-hand side is out of bounds. 
21 does not wish to die most painful death. Thank you. Okay, and then after the sorting ceremony, he says, he stands up and he says, let the feast begin. And then the food magically appears on the plates. Whoa, oh, ah. Uh, and then Seamus goes, I'm half and half. My dad's a muggle. Mom's a witch. Bit of a nasty shock for him when he found out. And then Harry says, hey, Percy, who's that teacher talking to Professor Quirrell? Oh, that's Professor Snape. Oh, that's Professor Snape. Yeah, that's all he says. And then Harry goes, what's he teach? Potions. But everyone knows it's the dark arts he fancies. He's been after Quirrell's job for years. And then Ron goes to get a chicken strip. And boom, nearly headless Nick. Wah! Hello! How are you? Welcome to Gryffindor. All of the ghosts come in. Oh, it's the bloody Baron! Wah! And then, hello, Sir Nicholas. Have a nice summer. Dismal. Once again, the, my quest to join the headless hunt has been denied. I know you. You're nearly headless, Nick. I prefer Sir Nicholas, if you don't mind. Nearly headless? How can you be nearly headless? Like this. Wow! And then he flies away. And then uh, uh, Percy leads all the first years up to their house. I'm not going to say all the chatter that they say in the hallways, but the, uh, br the girl waves in the portrait. I remember that. And then they go through the portrait hole and she says, password. And he says, Caput Draconis. And then they go in. And he goes, this is the Gryffindor common room. Something, something, something. Uh, boys, you, you, your dormitories will be up the stairs and to your left. Girls, the same on your right. You'll find all your belongings have already been brought up. And then Harry's sitting in his, his dorm and he's in pet and Hedwig. And then it's the next day and they're in transfiguration class. And Harry and Ron run in and they go, oh, we made it. Can you imagine the look on McGonagall's face if we were late? And then a cat jumps off the desk, except it's not a cat, it's Professor McGonagall. And Ron goes, that was bloody brilliant. Oh, thank you for that assessment, Mr. Weasley. Now, I, I suppose that I best not transfigure one... Oh, hmm, what'd she say? Something about transfigure one of you into a pocket watch? That way one of you might be on time. Transfigure Mr. Potter and yourself into a pocket watch? One, something. It's some variation of those words that I just said. That way one of you might be on time. We got lost. Then perhaps a map? I trust you don't need one to find your seats. I have no idea what scene comes next. And that's the end of it, guys. That's all Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone that I remember off the top of my head. I do remember lots of scenes after that, but I don't remember which order they come in. So that's going to be it for tonight. Okay, bye.